Hey guys, welcome to another review right here on ToyWorldOrder.com and YouTube.com slash ToyWorldOrder.com. Yeah, and then, 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 YouTube.com slash ToyWorldOrder with me, Duvall, and my buddy Dave Draper. Yay! Yay, gang, we're taking a look at something that is uh, quite interesting. Uh, at first, it seems a little kind of off the beaten path for us. It but does, but there are reasons. There are reasons. Um, Dave discovered this particular well, toy. It, it's been chatted about on a lot of G.I. Joe groups. Yes. Uh, and for good reason. It's the Dicky Toys Holiday Camper. Yeah, so Dicky Toys is a uh, French-German company. Uh, it's uh, Simba Dicky Toys is the actual parent company of it. Um, and they make a lot of different uh, of these types of toys uh, throughout the um, throughout Europe, basically. Yeah, and, and you can and apparently you can get them here. Yes, you can. You can order them off Amazon.com. Um, believe you got yours off eBay. I got mine off eBay. Yeah, uh, but. These toys are very cool. Now, of course, the box is very familiar to anyone who's probably been. It looks kind of familiar. It's the same idea of most boxes you see for a lot for a lot of different toys of this nature. You know, whether it's fire trucks or whatnot, they always seem to have this cardboard, uh, you know, open front box. Yeah, it's for, open. Yeah. So you can touch it and kind of see it. Um, well, but in this case, like, there's really. Open up the windows. Yes. Right. That's not all you can open up. Although I believe this, this may have been gotten into before we filmed, but I think there was a plastic band that kept, yes. kept you from actually doing that. Yes. Um, I'm not going to show you the back of the box and everything, and there's a reason for that. I want you to see, as we show you the up close and personal, what all this camper can do because it's quite amazing for a toy of this nature to do what it can do. There are toys out there that do similar things to this, but not uh, it's not as cool. I, yeah, I haven't seen anything quite like this, because this is, uh, usually with scale cars, they're designed to be models, and you have a hard time getting an action figure into them. Not this. Um, yeah, this this seems designed specifically to work with, you know, eight, 118 scale, four inch uh, action figures. Yes, and very, very easily too. Well, let's rip open this box and pull the camper out even though Dave has already gotten into it and it's been out once. Let's get it back out and let's show you all the little nooks and crannies and gizmos and gadgets on this sucker. Now the holiday camper out of the box is uh, not really much to look at. You just see it and you go, well, it's, it's a camper. It's, it's a camper. Oh, and by the way, to help us illustrate the features of the holiday camper yes. is star of TV and movies, Bruce Willis. Dun, dun, dun. Yay, Bruce Willis. Yay, okay. Bruce Willis. Okay. So... I will let Dave take over this because Dave has played with it. Uh, unfortunately, like a lot of these things are a little tricky. Like the way the joints. I swear it does open. I'll tell you what, what we'll do first. Yes, let's open the. Is slide back the roof. Everything's going to be difficult today. Yeah. Slide back the roof. Take a look, look inside. Look inside of here. This is almost a fully functioning. Like you can see the little molded details on everything. Yes give up on that you know there's a little kitchenette with a little range and a little i always do things backwards uh sink yes uh this locker yeah, opens the little, up. Little locker opens up there so you can store you can stuff store inside the, the uh the shower the, yeah first of all there's a there's a whole toilet in there yes here tip it up a little more there okay. so you can see it yeah there's there's actually a a toilet in there yeah, that sure. That actually does open. Does open. Yeah, the toilet does open. Look, there's even a hole at the bottom of that toilet. And of course, the little door. The little, the oh, little keep going right back, privacy right. door. Yep. Opens and closes yep. there. There's some clips here that you could uh, for accessories. For accessories, I don't know. Hang your bathrobe on. Yeah. Get in there, mm. Bruce. Bruce Willis sitting down to have breakfast on his little holiday trip. Yeah. The, ooh. Uh, the little seats. Little seats. Well, okay, that one doesn't. Cause they kind of click back. Yeah, they can. They can take a nap. And the main reason I wanted to open it. Yeah, because the the doors have a, a little bit of a tricky hinge. The side mirrors. Those can actually pivot. In theory. <coughs> there you go. Yeah. See, they can. Yeah. Uh, they can pivot. Steering wheel. Steering uh, wheel turns. My big fat fingers, yeah. But it turns. I mean, this thing is, is really cool, and of course, like Dave said on the other side, the uh, the windows open, all the windows all here. All the windows open. All the windows open up. And then the windows, or the little... The little sunroofs. The little sunroof. Yeah. Which I think goes over the bathroom, so it helps air it out. Yes. And then this little 
camper shell a opens. camper shell opens. In theory, it slides back and forth on this track. In theory. <laughs> I have not had a super... Yeah, and so some of the extra accessories are stored in this little compartment down here. And there's compartments on both sides. And see, it's still got its thing. And of course, you can see with both sides open, it goes all the way through, just like a real camper. So you can pull out from either side of the, uh, wherever you need it to be. Keep talking. I just, I love the, I just love the little details in here, man. I love the... The bikes are removable. Yeah, the bikes, the bikes here come off. In theory. No, they did. They're, they're... They just snap off. They snap yeah, off. there we go. Oh, wow, and they fall apart the minute you look at them funny. <laughs> Well, you know, can't have everything. No, you cannot. There we go. Little bikes, little bikes come off there. The little, the pedals move, the wheels move, everything turns. Look at that. Those are friggin' neat. Okay, help. help me. The old picnic area. Here, while you rebuild yeah, the bicycles. Yeah, you keep going over that. I gotta rebuild stuff here. We've had horrible, horrible things happen. Hmm. Oh, that's why we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to. Yeah, you're gonna have to glue that one. Oh no. Yeah, that thing snapped. All right, that's all right. Easily fixable though, but still a pain. Um, apparently, the plastic on the uh, pedals are super fragile. Okay. Just, just a heads Good up. Good to know. Yeah, just a heads up. Good to know. So you got a little little shade thing. A yeah. Little, a couple seats, a little table. And this actually doesn't it come out farther? <clears throat> no. 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 Yeah, it does. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, see? There you go. <laughs> Look at that. The only thing that's really missing is some uh, some little poles to hold it up. Yeah. Also. Yeah, the hood comes up. Look at that. So you can see the engine. Get into the engine there. I mean, just... There's so many little details. There's like little steps that that pop out for the for the doors. For the doors there. I mean, it's it's crazy the attention to detail. This thing's like maybe fifty bucks. Yeah. Like a Star Wars thing like this or a GI Joe thing like this would be a hundred easy. Oh yeah, easily. Yeah, I mean, easily. I, I've paid like I think forty bucks for some of the new Star Wars toys, and they are just like bath toys. Yeah, there there's nothing to them at all. Um, yeah, these little guys are. Super, super fragile. Yeah, well, I'd which think, is what you look for in a child's toy. Yeah, well, you know, I'm thinking that maybe that one was probably already almost broke to begin with when we started, just because it feels like it's that kind of plastic. Hmm. That's all right, though. Very cool. I mean, it's a very neat, uh, and of course, like the the little ladder. Oh, there's a little ladder. Yeah, it doesn't stay clipped on, but of course it. Unfold so you can climb to the top. Yeah, back here because there are little clips. There are little clips. That's supposed to supposed to lock yeah, in, but it doesn't. Clip in and then it doesn't, uh, doesn't quite hold it like it should because it's got to be set just right so the bike tires. Yeah, there we go. So it just kind of just kind of sits there. It doesn't actually. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't pop in like it really should. No, uh, this thing's amazing though. It's really cool. It's. Uh, it is, it is well worth it if you're looking for... It's very neat. I've seen a, uh, a couple of Joe fans that basically they're going to... You know that thing at the end of Stripes, the vehicle? Yes. In the last, like, third of Stripes? Yes. Yeah, there's, there's, a, there's a couple people that are trying to modify, modify it, it thing. Yeah, you know? to make it into that. That's pretty spectacular. Uh, this thing's really cool, though. If you uh, if it's something you're interested in, you want to look at, you can go on to... Uh, you can go to eBay or Amazon.com. Go to eBay or Amazon if you're a Joe guy and you're at a show somewhere and you see this. It, it's really cool. Yes, it's uh, it's it's well worth picking up uh, for any fan of these types of toys. Oh, and there's a see. We just keep finding out more and more about this thing because uh, the uh, there we go. See, when the shades down, there's a little oh, a little yeah, fringy bit. Yeah, a little fringy bit that comes down. Uh, it's very cool, man. This this thing is really neat, David. And uh, I have to say, uh, when I saw this at your uh, at your place the other day, I was like, "What is that?" And you were like, "Oh no, this thing is amazing." Yep. 
and uh, Dave was very, very correct on that. It is uh, a marvelous piece of toy uh, by this by amazing French German toy company, and it's. Uh, and like, we, we immediately went on eBay and we're like, "What else do they do? Yeah, what else do they do?" Um, they do some other stuff, but I don't think anything is quite as elaborate as this. No. Um, and this is pretty recent. This is pretty new, I believe. It's, it's fairly new, yeah. Yeah, it's from this this past, this summer. So uh, it's very cool. But, yeah, you can go on. Uh, you can check out, look it up. Uh, make sure you follow the spelling right here, Dicky Toys. Yeah. Uh, don't misspell that, gang, on the Internet. That's that's bad. Yeah, you want to be careful about that. That's bad mojo. That's that's bad news. That'll get you uh, That'll get you looked at. It'll get you unfortunate. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it will. <laughs> And there you go, guys. That'll uh, wrap up our look at the uh, Dickie uh, Summer Holiday Camper from Dickie Toys. Uh, again, you can check them out online. You can find them uh, on Amazon.com and eBay. Um, again, this is a really cool little toy, uh, especially like for someone like Dave, who's a huge joke fan and joke collector. Dave's always uh, intermingled these amazing, amazing pieces uh, from different toy lines that are compatible with Joe's into his displays, and I'm sure this will... Uh, this will be uh, mixed in there just as well as everything else, and I look forward to seeing that uh, in the display someday soon. But uh, hey, man, Joe's need time off too. Yes, they do. They need they need a vacay. Uh, but gang, thanks Dave uh, for bringing it over for us to show you and check out today. Uh, make sure you check us out on YouTube, youtubecom order and youtubecom the show, our sister show, as well as toyworldorder.com for podcasts, uh, new reviews, and more. Check it out. Hit subscribe. Mash the like button. Uh, hit subscribe so you never miss uh, an episode. Uh, sometimes we may be few and far between on our reviews, but when they come, they're usually fun. So make sure you check that out, gang. Until next time, Dave. Keep playing with your toys. Take care, guys. We'll see you next time. He's off. Oh no! If Do I could have Die Hard Seven. If I could remember the music, the stripes, I would have hummed it, but I can't. Uh, it escapes me right now. Oh well. I have your your canopy. Well, you know, that's what makes it. That's what makes it die hard. It's bright. It's not called rest in the shade hard. That's true.